Dr. Diana Chapkin here at HRC Fertility in West Los Angeles. So um, we are here today doing our fertility question of the month. So for the month of April, um, the question is egg freezing. How do I pick my pl my clinic and my doctor? So, so let me start by saying that I've been there. I I've been in a situation where I had to pick my fertility clinic and my doctor because I too was a fertility patient. Uh, I've been through multiple rounds of IVF and fertility treatments. So, so I know what was important to me going through the process. Um, well, first it's important to, to have a doctor that you feel like you can trust and that you can communicate with. It's important to have access to your doctor and feel like you can ask him or her questions throughout um, and before and after the process. From a medical clinical care perspective, this is important, but also from an emotional and social perspective, this is crucial. You also want a doctor that's involved every step of the way. So when I was a patient, I felt so much more comfortable when my doctor performed my ultrasounds. During an egg freezing cycle or an IVF cycle, you'll need regular and multiple ultrasounds to evaluate your ovaries and the growth and development of your eggs and follicles. When I was going through the IVF process, I really appreciated it when my own doctor performed my ultrasounds rather than, than a staff member who may have been totally capable and, and really good at performing ultrasounds, um, but I really pre preferred it when, when my own doctor performed my ultrasounds rather than an ultrasound tag or a clinical uh, covering nurse or another doctor. I felt like in that way less um, would get missed and it was also an opportunity to review what my doctor saw in real time. So that's what I do for my patients. I know that in a lot of clinics, the, the doctor will see you for a consultation, but then not actually perform each of your ultrasounds afterwards. Um, usually there will be either an ultrasound tech or a fellow or a resident or a nurse or a covering doctor doing the ultrasound. And often it changes from day to day as to who actually does your ultrasounds. From my experience as a patient, I've tailored my clinic so that I do all of my patients' ultrasounds every single time they come in so that things don't get missed and they get consistent care and it allows me to address the concerns or questions that they have right away and I think it gives a better experience and quite frankly better outcomes. Also by having one person, me, do my, my patient's ultrasounds, every time I make sure that there is consistency with, which is crucial. And you want to go to a place that has good success rates. So that's very other another important factor. You don't want to choose a clinic by its cover, right? You, because uh, you know, a clinic may have a nice waiting room or may have a nice website. You know, those are all very important things. But just because a clinic has a nice facade, it doesn't mean that they actually have good results or success rates or that the experience will be a good one. Success rates are crucial. So you want a place that not only knows how to freeze your eggs, but also knows what to do with them when the time comes to thaw and, and fertilize uh, your eggs and create a baby out of those eggs. You want to freeze your eggs at a clinic that has a good track record and years of experience, not only freezing eggs, but in thawing them and creating pregnancies um, in, in IVF cycles and good pregnancy rates. In the end, that's what you want to improve your chances of pregnancy down the road. You want um, um, a, a good lab, essentially. In the end, you want a good chance of having a baby from those frozen eggs, You know, not, not just a, a trendy waiting room. Um, I also, I strongly believe that um, that a place that primarily freezes eggs but does not do a good amount of actual IVF cycles and embryo creations in the, in the hopes of um, helping people conceive will not really know what to do with your eggs in the same way that a place that also does IVF to a significant degree. Meaning going to a strong IVF lab with years of experience creating embryos from eggs is where you want to go rather than a place that just freezes eggs or primarily freezes eggs. Also, of course, you want to go to a place where the staff is helpful and friendly and keeps you comfortable and offers emotional support and services. So in summary, you want a good outcome in the end and the best chance that your eggs will result in a baby one day. And so that means getting the best medical care from your doctor, specifically in a very personal way, and also from a lab that is extremely experienced and has the best success rates. So with that, I will sign off, but I thank you for checking in this month. Uh, please check in next month for the fertility question of the month. Um, and uh, good luck to you. And I look forward to, to meeting uh, you um, in the future. Take care.